St. Lucia. I'ma take a bougie ass to Rodeo and then let her pick up whatever she want. CC Gucci, Hippo, take up whatever she Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am in St. Lucia and I am so excited to be solo traveling. The Airbnb is beautiful. The traveling wasn't that bad, but I'll get more into that later. But right now, I'm just about to go upstairs and watch the sunset with the host of the Airbnb. They've been so sweet. They took me, they picked me up from the airport. They took me to the um, grocery store, came here, gave me a tour. Um, of the place and it's so beautiful like the view is everything can you see the ocean so yeah Thank you. Oh. <laughs> Hi. The view just keeps getting better. <laughs> it's pretty. <laughs> They're like new people. <laughs> Which one's Alfie? This the, the poodle? What's his name? He's Alfie. Oh. The little one is Sandy. Sandy, Elsie. Um. Like running around St. Lucia, um, two dudes that the Airbnb owner knew, like took me with them to pick up some food, and we sat there and like had a drink. I tried the Patom beer, and then like one of their local rums. It was so good. They're so nice here. So I'm going to the spa tomorrow, and we're tired, but. It's been a really good time here. The people are really nice. After we came back, we ate our food upstairs in their balcony. Like for tomorrow, I'm getting up and walking to the spa. Um, after we drove back from the food place, they showed me like where the spa was, and it's like no more than a 10 minute walk. So I'm gonna walk there. My appointment's at one. So so far, Saint Lucia is a vibe. I'm like on the more local, chill side of the island. I'm on the let's see, the south side of the island. I feel like south side is more like local chill i think north side is, has like a lot of resorts and north side is where the um cruise ship ports um castries and i am going to venture into that um area on wednesday because i'm having like a um excursion where we go to like the Patan, to sulfur springs the waterfall we go to like um sugar bay beach or sugar it's a hotel it's a hotel and like they have a beach in front of it and so tomorrow's just, like my chill day so I, like i said i'll get up get my spa treatment done uh probably chill uh, also i have a new camera that i'm using for vlogging it's making it like really easy for me to like you know bring in travel and vlog and not feel like super awkward it's the um the dj the dji osmo pocket 2. yeah i'm about to get some rest in tap in for day two good morning well, day two i'm in st lucian for a solo trip and it's so beautiful here this is like such a beautiful place the people are so nice so it's day two in st lucia my first full day in st lucia and i just got dressed for the pool not the pool the beach i'm gonna walk down to the beach and then i have an appointment for a massage in three hours it's like 10 right now my appointment is at one o'clock so i just want to go to the beach for a little bit sit down right just lay there see what the beach is about and then yeah go on with the rest of my day i slept in a little bit because i was like really tired from not sleeping the day before but yeah so pretty outside walking to the beach
for you. Good. So that's where I'm going to get a spot at at one o'clock. And then I saw this food place down here. And I think that's like the Rodney Bay Beach area down there. So I decided to start right here and eat before I go. I'm gonna probably buy my aunt and magnet from in there. what I shall do. All right, I am finished with my massage. That was a really good massage. I went to Pure Bliss in, near uh, Roddy John. I forgot the name, but it was a really good uh, massage. I'll link the name. But now I'm just like walking down to the beach from the um, massage because it's like right on the beach. There's like another little sea restaurant. It looks like nobody's in there. Bounty room. I think that's what the dudes were talking about yesterday. They kept telling me like to try bounty room. And I think that might be it. Very nice. It's not like a little a store and not like a place to go down to go a beach here. At least it's not rocky. But I'm not too worried about going like getting into the water right now because tomorrow I'll be in the water. Oh, there's somebody down there on the beach. Little chickens. I think that's a dog right there. They say it's like a lot of stray dogs. But yeah, okay, that's like a little beach outlet right there. And some people are on the beach. I think I am about to walk back to my place now, shower off because I'm really oily with coconut oil and take a nap. And then I might do something with um, some people that I met here yesterday. See, there's a goat right there. And then this the one that was like right in my path when I was walking back the first time. The goat, so there's a goat over there. There's a goat right there. But the last time I just kind of like dipped down because I was scared. <laughs> I don't know much about goats. He was staring at me last time too. I might walk by him. I'm going to be brave. Huh? Let me record. Another goat. And there's one over there. And it's one right there. <laughs> so that was like a, a five minute walk from where I am staying at. Cause the White House right there on the hill is where I'm staying at. And then I came down to this beach earlier and all I did was walk down that pathway right there. All the tall grass right there is like a pathway right there. So loud with all the trucks passing by. And I'm gonna have to find a way to cross. It's up on the hill, so I just like walked up the driveway. Okay, I'm about to get in the pool for a little bit. I really wanted to like get in the pool then read, but my phone needs to charge. And if I'm gonna go somewhere in a few, my phone needs to, needs to get as charged as possible. So the pool is so nice. I need to get in before I leave. I don't. I just don't know how tomorrow is gonna go. I do not know how tomorrow is gonna go. So. I'm gonna get in now while I have the opportunity, at least for like 30 minutes. And then maybe I'll just come out and lay down for a little bit and just rest.
Why? River. Okay. Nice bridge. Second full day, I'm in like a tour group and we're going to like all the different sites. So, so far we went and took pictures in front of the Patan, but like just from far away. We're never at like, a do like the uh, shore waiting on the full group to meet. It's pretty. Alright, it's day three in Tay Lucia, my second full day, and I just really got back from the excursion. It was really amazing. I ended up meeting two great ladies from uh, Texas and Atlanta, my mother and daughter, and I kind of like hung out with them a lot on the excursion because we ended up riding in the same event on the way there, but it was really great. Our tour guide, Edmund, was great. I'll put his information below in, uh, on the screen, but I booked it through a via tour, but uh, it was his like... There's other ways to book it too, but that the tour was really great. We went to the Sulphur Springs, the waterfall. We went to Sugar Bay Beach. Uh, we had lunch. It was like a buffet style. Uh, we rode like a little boat to the snorkeling area, which was uh, by, on Sugar Beach Resort. 
Um, it was just a really great day. Um, so now I'm back and I'm about to, I showered and now I'm about to walk and get some food before it gets dark. And I think I just want to spend the rest of the, I think I just want to spend the rest of the day just in side and reading a book. I know I'm, I'm, I'm old and lazy. I'm old and tired, but tomorrow I fly out later, but tonight I just really want to chill, finish the book that I've been reading and relax. It's like, I don't know. Um, uh, the ladies did invite me to come back to their place uh, if I wanted to do something because uh, their resort has like, you know, some things, but I do not want to deal with the hassle of going to get a, uh, trying to find a ride up there. Um, that's the only thing about St. Lucia, like I'm kind of staying in like a more, I would say local area and you really, there's not like Uber or anything here. So it's kind of like, uh, unless you got things set up or you have a driver or you have a, or you're staying at a resort that handles things for you like that, it could be a little challenging. Of course I could ask my Airbnb host, but I'm, I kind of am lazy too. So I'm just gonna walk and get some food, bring it back here and read. Okay, I walked to get some food and it's really loud out here because they're playing really loud music, but I just got pizza. Like I just got something that was close to me. The place I tried to go to was closed. I'm waiting, I got me a little um, Shanti. They just car wash. I asked them like, what's good then? They said it's a lady who sells food by a car wash. I don't know if it was them, but I saw her sign. And I came up here. But yeah, it's like people just chilling. Loud music. Good morning, it's my final day and I leave for my flight in a couple of hours. Um, I am about to walk back into town. Um, it's like a five minute walk and get some last minute souvenirs. Last night I just ended up getting some pizza and coming back and just chilling, reading, watching YouTube. It was a really chill night. So I'll come back after my walk, uh, shower, and then get packed up. Uh, my Airbnb hosts, I'll keep saying they have been great. Um, I didn't even have to ask for like a extended checkout or like a late checkout. It was like, yeah, nobody's, I told them what time my flight is and it was like, yeah, nobody's coming for like three days. So whenever, uh, you know, one o'clock, it sounds should be pretty good to get you to the airport. And I'm like, bet. So it's like uh, 11 o'clock right now. So I'm about to, like I said, the walk is like five minutes. So I'm gonna walk. Uh, I have like some, some money that I want to spend the rest of. Hey, I'm saying goodbye to the Airbnb. It's been a great trip. I'm all packed up, just waiting um, to leave for the airport in a few, but one last little room tour in the daylight. And let's get a little nail cam. Nail cam, these were mine. Oh, let me get in the light. Nails for the trip. Okay, so the bed. They had plenty of towels, a great view to the sea. I don't know how clear you can see it, but all that white in the background is the ocean. The bathroom. What's there? Then had a closet with a lock, a safe box in there, an ironing board. They had an iron, a blow dryer. And then the little living area with couches and a TV. The pool outside. Beautiful. And all the plants. So yeah, I head to the airport, but if you're looking to solo travel or just looking to come to a Caribbean island, St. Lucia has really been amazing. There's so much to do. Different parts of the islands give different vibes. All the people were amazing. The food was good. It was affordable. I really had a good time. I had no complaints. So thank y'all and I'll see y'all in the next one.